Thank you. This is from Keir Starmer. Thank you to the community and faith leaders and the police I visited today for keeping our communities safe. Who are these people? Who are these self-appointed people who he is talking to? Mm -hmm. Have they been voted in by us? No. The population of England. Have we actually said... They've not been voted in by, by their community. Yeah. These are self-proclaimed community leaders. Yeah. So, so, so where is he in the Southport community? Where is he in the Manchester community oh. saying to the young, young mothers with yeah. young children, I'll keep your kids safe? What about those communities? Mm. He's sitting with a bunch of Muslims, a bunch of coppers and a bunch of blokes with funny hats saying thank you for keeping our community safe. What the frick does that even mean? It means absolutely nothing. He should be sat with all the local councillors from those areas. Yes, correct. Who may be Muslims, yeah. but at least they're elected. He should be sat with them going, thank you for working with me, you need to do... do, do. They can then talk to religious leaders and talk to mosques. Yeah. But at least there's a, a sign of democracy there, yeah. that these people have been elected by their communities and now they represent their community could have been elected. These religious leaders and, and any other so-called community leaders are not leaders. They are, some of them will be violent men because that's how you take control of the community. Others then will be using propaganda and religious propaganda um, and persuasion to, to take over and have that um, control. And these are not the people we deal with in democracies. We have a rule of law. And these individuals have got their own agendas. Yeah. You know, they, these people haven't got the best of the UK as their number one agenda. Yeah. They've got the best of their community. And their community will be little Karachi. It will be little Bangladesh. It will be little Malaysia. And that's what they're worried about. And after that, it will be their homeland country they're worried about. In England and Great Britain doesn't come into many of these people's priorities top three yeah. i'm sure the they have some concern over the uk because they live here but for most people it's number one concern yeah it's not their number one concern well the question i would ask <clears throat> is where <coughs> are where are the community leaders of the white english working man and woman they're in jail and they're called far right <laughs> protesters <laughs> But you're right. Well, where's the, where, where are those community leaders? Yeah, yeah. Because I can't see any in these pictures. No. I can see him hanging. I mean, it seems to me here, if you put on a hijab or put on one of those funny gowns mm. that the, the Muslim blokes wear mm. and a little hat, then you can get an audience with Keir Starmer, mm. basically, with absolutely no validation. And we do have, you know, inter it's interesting. I'll, well, I'll tell you where the community leaders are of, of the invisible uh, white English class, English working and, and low middle class mm. you know there those are people like tom tommy robinson like peter thorpe on twitter these people who have millions of followers yeah. who have to try and speak on behalf mm. of these people they're never invited no. to sit with keir starmer when was tommy robinson last invited to sit with keir starmer and express you know he i mean a hundred thousand people at that march mm. was it two weeks ago or um, three weeks yeah. ago probably now in london Led by Tommy Robinson. Yeah. Why isn't he regarded as a community leader? He's persona non grata. He doesn't get invited on the BBC. He doesn't get invited on any mainstream TV, any mainstream press, any mainstream radio. Lots of people who we like on social media are too afraid to have Tommy Robinson on their channel. Um, he's, he's persona non grata. Um, and, will, and he's perceived as the enemy. Because he's white working class, and like I say, he's got a bad background as well. So, Tom, Tommy Robinson always in, always isn't the the best case. No, but, um, but what I'm saying is, Starmer pro propagates this idea of the right wing thugs, blah blah blah, and mm. they're 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 carrying out allegedly mm. violence, aren't they, on the streets, along with the Muslims? Mm. Yeah. So when the Muslims kick off in air holes, they talk to the community leaders about how we calm things down. If he's the community leader of the right wing folks, mm. why not get him in for a chat as well? Oh, that's easy to answer. Labour have completely now officially abandoned the white working class. They don't want to represent him. They don't want their vote. They've now realised that they've lost a lot of them anyway over decades. 
and the Muslim vote and the ethnic minority vote is more important for Labour than the white working class vote because they know Reform UK are going to be eating into that white working class vote and they lost some Muslim support because of Free Palestine and now they're making up for it. They've, they've probably got pie charts out working out. We've got university people who are graduates, we've got the white liberals, uh, we've got half the Muslim vote at the moment, we need to get that back up to 90. We've got the other immigrant votes because we're going to tell them that if you don't vote for us, you're going to get Nazis running this country. And we reckon we're going to win the next election on this. White working class have a problem. So let's do nothing for them and let reform have them. That's what we're going to concentrate on. They've been doing that slowly over decades. But Keir Starmer seems to draw the line now and went, we're not even going to pretend we want you anymore now. And I think he's lost so many white working class votes now. Oh, you think he's dropped the they have dropped the charade now? Yes, he's, yeah. he's actually just said, yeah, the, the shit, we don't need them. Yep. So we'll just focus on the people we do need. Yeah. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.